What is going on guys? It's Josh with Deprived Productions and we're going to start our Blender series today. That's right, tutorial number one for 3D modeling. Welcome to Blender. Do down go download it. It's free for your computer. For my Project Torture people, I know we've already covered a lot of the stuff I'm going to be covering. We're starting from scratch, so sorry. Let's just let's, let's, let's enjoy it, right? All right, here we go. Boom. Welcome. You got a box? You can have it. You're going to have one if you open the program. You got a little box here. I just hold the middle mouse wheel in to kind of, you know, move the box around. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Move it around. Uh, use the mouse wheel and scroll it in. Sorry about that. You hold the mouse wheel in and move it. Scroll it in and out to kind of see what you're doing. Uh, you can just, you can do that. I press Shift F. And if you press Shift F, then you can just use WASD and move around and, and use the mouse to see. But yeah, boom, there you go. Shift F, click, you're out of it. Shift F. I mean, it's just, it's neat. Just a little movement. Okay. Let's learn how to take just this box and do a few little things with it. You know what I'm saying? There's so much we're going to learn. Let's start off small. So you see these three, three little arrows here. i got three axes. you got the Z. It's going up and down. you got the Y. It's going like a left and right. And the, the red's kind of going left and right. X, right? But it's just up and down. And you got like forward and backwards. And then left and right. Well, check it out. If I press the G key for grab, because I'm, I'm trying to grab it. You know what I'm saying? We'll grab on it. I can move it around like this. You know what I'm saying? Grab it around. Um, you know, just, I can just drop it and grab it again and drop it and grab it again. And I can control Z. Kind of undo what I did there. You know what I'm saying? I did uh, put it back where it was. I can grab now. Press the grab button, press G, and then press Z. So now I've grabbed it on the Z. When I'm moving around, I'm boom, I can stop it. And then I can grab it on the Y and move it over here. And then grab it on the X left and right over here. I can just move this thing around. I can grab the arrows. I'm just going to grab these arrows and grab it. Just, just grab it. Just keep on grabbing it. And then control Z if you grabbed it too many times. Okay, so after that, we'll go to the second thing you can do. That's like movement. Grabbing location, basically. R for rotation, because that's the letter that rotation starts with. We'll rotate your object. Look at it. Look at it all moving around all pretty. We can rotate on just an axis. Control Z, because we're done rotating it. Rotate on a Z, right? Kind of spin that thing. Spin it around. And then uh, we can... Uh, we can spin it back around because that was awkward. And then we can rotate it on the X or something like that. Rotate on the Y. You guys get what I'm talking about. And then we got one more. We got the location. We got the rotation. And then we have the scale. The scale is the size. So if I press S, I can kind of get a little, get a little tiny. A little tiny. Or I can make it bigger. You like things bigger? I like things bigger. Let's make it bigger. And we'll get it bigger like that. It's bigger and smaller. And so now, I, and then I can actually, here's what's really cool. I can size it on just the Y. I'm making it longer longer you know what i'm talking about a little little longer all right anyway taller how about taller s z we go up and down up and down all kind of all kind of you control z because i've been i've been grabbing it um and so what, what what's going on here is you have all your different functionality to basically you know size it and then grab it maybe on the y and then rotate it on the z like this and so it's like this and then i can grab it on the x and move it over there and i'm like oh that's too big so i'll shrink it down but just for now and then we'll grab it on the y again and, and bring it over here in the x and i'm just moving this cube around guys I'm just moving it around. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just neat what you can do. And you, you know, you, now, now, now all we're doing here is, is fooling with the entire box though. The other thing I want to show you is that you can actually go into the edit mode of this box and each face, each line, each point, all of it can be, can be kind of like, you know, toyed with, tampered with, grabbed, if you will. So, you know, if you press the tab button while this thing is selected, and if you press A, it'll deselect everything, and A again to select everything, you can right click and click, click on the cube, your little uh, box there, press tab, boom. Now you are in edit mode. So now, as you can tell, A to deselect. A to select all, deselect all, select all. It's got everything selected on this box. Now you got three different sections here. These three little things right here. I'm gonna press A and deselect. You got points. You can grab these points. I just, I'm just gonna grab one on and hold the G. You see what what what's going on there? You see what I'm doing here? I'm stretching out the uh, stretching out the top corner there, right? Because I grabbed it on the X axis. So I could just grab points now. You know what I'm saying? Grab this on the Z. Bring it up a little bit. Now check this out. We got those dots, little dots, little points. We go to the second one. It's the lines. It's the edges. So I can grab this edge and maybe grab it and just bring it out here a little bit and make it look really, really awful. And then I can control Z it because I messed up. And then we can move to this edge over here and move it and control Z that. I'm control Z and everything because it's all awful. But we're just we're just goofing around, right? We're just we're just hanging out. Now after that, we got the third one here. Faces, right? So I got the faces. So I can actually take this thing right here. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Take this right here, grab on the G. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna take this model, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna grab that over here. I'm gonna go to the edge right here. I'm gonna go to this edge right here and I'm gonna grab it on the Z. Bring it down like that. I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna rotate this on the Z. What's that gonna do? It's gonna twist that over there. Uh-oh, I messed up. 
If you twist too far, you got to control Z that. Let's try it again. Rotate Z. See, you got to be careful. Rotate. Look what I mean. You're going to rotate through yourself. It's going up, oh, up. Oh, you got to mess it up. So we're going to try to stop it about right there. I don't know what we got going on here, guys, but it looks kind of fishy. Um, I'm going to take this thing and uh, we'll grab it on the X maybe and just move it out way over there. And, and, and we've taken this cube that was already pretty pretty simple and we've made a very simple, ugly figure. And, and, and I hope you all like it <laughs> because, because that's all. But anyway, no, but seriously, guys, we're, I'm just toying around with you. We're basically just learning how to move this thing. You press tab again, go back into your shape. And now you can see it as a whole, and then you can go back to sizing it on the Z, just the whole thing. You flatten it a little bit, um, flatten it out a little bit like that. Uh, you can rotate it on the Y or whatever. Not. See, see, it's just basically breaking down the scale, the rotation, and the location. And then you can, and then you can separate it like this. Now there's a lot to learn, believe me. But this is the beginning, guys. You can rotate, scale, location, all that kind of cool stuff. Move your, move your thing around, toy with this, have some fun with it. Well, you'll, you'll probably, you'll probably end up creating something on accident. I mean, it's so easy to use. And like I said, that's pretty much all we're going to do today, guys. Tab again to switch back and forth uh, between edit mode and object mode, which is actually the full object. But hey, guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you guys can take, take this real simple, simple, simple thing because we got so much coming. And just kind of toy with it. Make that box your own. Make it your box, not my box. You can have your own box. I'll have my own box. We'll share them later. And guys, appreciate you watching, okay? Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the uh, Deprived Productions YouTube page, please, the YouTube channel. Um, we appreciate you. We appreciate all of you, all the products. Project Torture People. I'll be back in just a couple more days with another tutorial, and we will keep moving in Blender. We'll jump back in Pro Tools. We'll jump back in Unreal. We'll do a little bit of everything. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.